What's up guys, it's your boy XE1 back at it again with another banger of a video. In this one we're going to do a Proteus slash Battle Redux Boss Overview slash Team Guide EX++ Reward Tracker Fill Out. Let's jump into it. Yeah, so basically I always bitch about this light not adding new uh, boss designs or anything and reusing assets, but they actually added this boss in a couple months ago, and I was on vacation so I couldn't cover it or make a guide, but now I'm back and it's finally back as well. Battle Redux uh, Proteus, so we're going to do an overview or a EX++ reward tracker guide fill out because I love doing them on this channel, so let's jump into it, yeah? So we're just going to start by reading the info button because dislike players don't read. That's a joke, by the way. Uh, but anyways, Proteus. In this mode, AP cannot be manipulated. That means Feng Zhuan's AP boost and Dahlia's AP boost cannot manipulate your team's AP. Or you cannot manipulate the boss's AP. So it's going off of speed. That's how your turns take effect. Allies will gain an HP bonus at the start of combat. This boss can deal massive damage. Remember to use espers with access to shield or healing to provide protection. Deploying HP and damage espers is the key to victory. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it's because all of my equipment is boost stones and I have a couple divinates here and there. I don't know if I have divinates on every esper that I was using to test my uh, team out. But uh, the boss doesn't really do that much damage. And obviously if you're from server 5, 6, or 7 without boost stones or a couple resonances for base stats, that may be different. But I don't have any support character other than Feng Zhuan on my team, and his healing is enough. I do have him R2 and above, but again, you can't manipulate AP. So you can get by with R0, just basically giving buffs and healing, because that's what he does, is give buffs and healing. So here's the boss's abilities here. Uh, inflicts defense down. Dispels all buffs on the targets, inflicts Seer, gives himself attack plus 10%. Uh, again, like I said before, I don't really notice myself taking a lot of damage or being low HP to where it's critical and I need to apply another support on my lineup. Just to further explain the boss here and the rewards, you can see here the uh, high rating reward preview and then you can go to loot button. You see here that score rewards and first clear rewards, you get score and then the rewards based on your score rating and the first time clear rewards once you reach that score rating. So you can see here it's a bunch of rival rune equipment op boxes and resources, which uh, did reset since the last time this boss came around. So go ahead and fill this out and then try your best here. I'm going to show you how to get EX++, get your first clear rewards, get your rival rune resources here, and I'll bring your attention to the bottom of the page here near the go button. You can see this reward tracker with 10 million, 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, etc., etc. This is how many points you score total while the boss is up. So you can do one run with 5 million score, right? And then the next one, you could do 10 million score, just an example. And it'll add up for 15 million. You'll be in the middle here between the 10 and 20 million reward tracker reward. You can see here I've done a couple of runs. I think it was three or four runs here. And my total phase reward damage is 157 million. So obviously, once I get to 200 million, I'll be able to claim these divinate discs and so on and so forth to 250 million and 300 million. So anyways, we're going to go in here to the boss. Like I said before, uh, I read the abilities and descriptions, and it even says it right here. In this mode, AP cannot be manipulated here. So the boss is Shimmer, so it's elementally neutral, so you want as much crit rate as possible. Uh, as you can see here, team damage bonus. Epic Espers deal 0.5% more damage with each resonance level. I have a couple Epic Espers in here. Uh, four out of six Espers on my lineup are Epic Espers. So you can see here, Legendary Espers deal 1% more damage with each resonance level. Uh, and I only have two legendary espers, so my team damage bonus percentage is 17%. Obviously, if you have more resonances on your legendary espers, you'll have a higher bonus percentage. So basically, we're just going to let the fight run on auto, but I'm going to show you my equipment here because it is your own equipment. It's not preset and my thought process with this team lineup here. So obviously, Chu Yao is going to be linked to somebody with the highest attack here, and which is going to be Falcon, just so Falcon can refresh his passive buff, Eye of Horus. 20% true damage of total damage taken during the effect, which is huge because you're just going to be slapping them with these out-of-turn pursuits. Adrena does out-of-turn pursuit. Uh, Aying Pata? <laughs> Sorry for butchering that way harder than I usually do. Her ultimate here calls in somebody to assist, so we're going to have her on speed harmony. And then, obviously, Feng Zhuan uh, provides utility support buffs, like seed damage and attack up. Also, he's going to be our healer here, so you can see the stats here. Uh, make sure that the boy has some HP so he can heal your team. Obviously, Yuju 
pursuits out of her turn as well as long as you have three or more buffs and we're going to be providing buffs with Aine, sorry again that I butchered that, and Feng Zhuan, which would be more than enough buffs to trigger her pursuit here. So obviously all these espers either synergize or work with each other by providing assists or out of turn assists, and that's what we're going for here again, just to reiterate, AP cannot be manipulated, so there's no AP boosting, like you can't put Claire, Dahlia, uh, Feng Zhuan's R2 doesn't AP manipulate here, so yeah, we're just going for out of turn pursuits with the free to play ish team, so you can fill out the EX++ reward tracker. So we got to EX++ with 2.1 million points to spare. Um, I'm going to go over... Obviously, I don't expect anybody to watch the whole fight, even though it's going to be sped up to three times speed. But uh, basically, just watching the fight myself, you want to make sure, like I said before, that your DPSs are on a high enough crit rate as possible, 100%, because it really does add up with all these assists and uh, turns. Obviously, higher C rate and C damage on Falcon would help a lot, and Adriana, as I just showed. My Feng Zhuan's pretty goaded, so uh, I will show him in a second. But uh, obviously, here I was missing some crits, because that's 75% crit rate. You want 100% crit rate. Uh, the C damage is fine. Yuju doesn't really need speed. Uh, but here, Feng Zhuan doesn't need crit rate here, so you just want to load him up with a shit ton of HP and C damage. And uh, yeah, basically that's all I have to say really, uh, just watching that, just improve the C rate and C damage. I like to apply mediocre stats, even though I could easily get 100% C rate and 300% uh, C damage, but I just want to make it realistic uh, to more players by showing mediocre stats. Uh, half the time they're auto-equipped and half the time they're not, but it is what it is. Again, if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your August and peace out.